Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Vienna. Beautiful Vienna. After Berlin, it's my favorite city in Europe. I never get tired of coming here, although to be honest, I haven't been here for about seven years. I'm making up for that now. I've got a little visit here in Vienna and I'm going to see something which I always visit when I'm here and that's the Nash Market. I think you'll be impressed. When I was here last time, I remember it was a great place to get a bite to eat, a great place to buy food and a great place for spices. I wonder if it's changed. Well guys, good news and bad news. The good news is the market is exactly where I remembered it to be. The bad news is it's looking like the Mary Celeste. Most of them have packed up early, or at least this section has anyway. I think this is clothes and that kind of stuff. Uh, food, spices, yes, I think they're still up and running. Thank goodness for that. I wonder how many of those products are genuine. The first main thing I've noticed is there's an increase in the amount of, how shall I put this, Eastern Mediterranean influence. A lot more what look like Arabic or Turkish people selling food and a lot more Turkish food as well. We're about a quarter of the way through. This is actually a huge market. Unlike the markets I've been to in France where the cheeses are always French, funnily enough, here they're Italian, they're local, they're even as far away as England. A real international market here for cheeses.
40 Every time I've been here in the past, it's been absolutely mobbed. But then that's what happens when you turn up at about 12, 1 p.m. It's actually 3 p.m. now. And uh, as you can see, it's not too bad. You can actually negotiate your way around the place. Usually this place is heaving. So if you like your specialty food, this is the place to come to. Right, we've gone halfway now, we've still got the other side to go down. Ah, I remember it now. This is the side where all the restaurants are. And there's dozens of them. If you can't find something to eat here, you're not trying. Nineteen euros for authentic replica football shirts. Hmm. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that whirlwind tour of the Nash Market. It's brilliant. If you come to Vienna, you must come here, especially if you're a foodie. I always feel quite, um, quite uncomfortable filming food like this, especially when you're filming dead fish. People kind of look at you very strangely. They don't realize you're a YouTuber and we do these kind of things. Anyway guys, thanks so much for coming along on this little adventure to the Nash Market and I'll see you next time.